storms northwest of the valley. For the valley, just a chance of storms, not looking at a severe risk, but as we look to our north and northwest, you'll notice the high country from Prescott to Flagstaff up to the north, even up towards Page, there's at least a marginal risk of strong to severe storms, with a slight risk, meaning a higher risk, right along that Utah border. So, strong storms will be a possibility today. And then I mentioned the winds are going to be kicking up. We actually have wind advisories that will go in effect at noon for parts of Mojave County. Also, a heightened fire threat because of those strong winds in the upper Colorado River Valley. Strongest winds today out ahead of this storm system will kick up across northern Arizona, but we're going to feel the breezes here in the valley too, especially by afternoon. I think winds will be sustained between about 5 and 15 miles an hour, but our gusts could be as high as 25 miles an hour by the early afternoon. So it'll be a breezy day. You'll have to watch for those storms and know that temperatures today will still warm to around 90 degrees. But then we've got cooler, drier air to look forward to, and by tomorrow into the weekend, our highs only in the upper 80s Friday, Saturday in the low 90s, but check out those morning lows down into the 60s by Saturday morning. And Iris, we're already seeing I-10 start to load up right now out in the West Valley. You're seeing a little slowing right near Loop 303. That's just because of some overnight work that they should have uh, wrapped up shortly. But I want to give you a look at your desert drive time as you're traveling in right now from 75th Avenue till you hit the mini stack. It's going to take you about 15 minutes. You kind of have two uh, batches of slowing here, right near about 75th to 67th, and then again right near 43rd Avenue. So just kind of your typical slow and go, but it's hitting us just a little bit early this morning. It is very slow on the 202 right now, though. Let's give you a look from our ADOT camera. We have this crash that is slowing things down because it's blocking that HOV in the left lane. Loop 202 eastbound Red Mountain right near 32nd Street. Looks like a tow truck is on seeing it. You can see it right there trying to clear up part of this crash, but they have some flares set up, so it could take some time to get it all cleared up. I-10 eastbound could be a good option for you instead of the Loop 202. We'll also give you a look at I-17 in just a few minutes. It is 522. Are you doing all that you can to make sure that your future self Organic food. The 143 is going to be your best bet this morning. We have another a couple of accidents in the East Valley. The US 60 uh, looks like right here at Dobson there's an accident and then the 101 at Baseline there's an accident and then there was one more back at Gilbert that looks to have cleared so that is good news. Starting to see some volume pick up on the I-10 eastbound. That's very typical. A little ahead of schedule though for the day. 17 and 51 both look good. Spotty slowing here on Grand Avenue uh, but that is very normal so we'll keep an eye on that and uh, hopefully it won't get too bad. Here's a quick flyby of the I-10 and you can see a whole lot of headlights coming and we'll see how that's uh, impacting your drive time coming up. Okay, thank you. We've got some showers. All right, take a look at this. A North Carolina teacher is defending his decision to step on an American flag. He says to teach his class a lesson. First, he tried to uh, burn it, then cut it. He says he was showing his class an example of free speech, but this didn't go over well with students and parents, as you can imagine, and now the teacher has been suspended. And I put the flag on the ground, and I take two steps with my right foot, and I said this is an example of freedom of speech. As soon as the flag hits the ground and, and, and I step on it, two students got up and left immediately with no word, no disruption at all, got up and left. I assumed that something happened. Um, one student came to where I am and took the flag from me. Good. All right, yeah, I say good. The school says the incident is under investigation and says they feel there are other ways to teach the First yeah. Amendment. Francis agrees there are other teaching methods, but also says his way of teaching is not wrong. So we want to know what do you think? We're posting this on our CBS5 Facebook page right now. We uh, would love to know what your thoughts are on this, and we're going to read some of those comments in the next hour. I think there's a lot of other ways that they could have demonstrated. Yeah. Sounds like the teacher Especially needs a little lesson a of his own. Yeah. yeah, and I think he's learning it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think this is just the beginning of what's going to happen here. Probably a little uncalled for. Mm -hmm. All right, straight ahead at 530. Why the city of Phoenix says don't feed the homeless? We're going to explain. It's 526. We'll be right back. But hurry. Fall's hottest... inside a West Valley mobile home because nobody was answering. It's like this. 
Police say he groped a woman in Glendale, and they're worried he may strike again. And Donald Trump's running mate is headed to the valley once. The water leaving a huge hole and creating a makeshift river, as you can see from these images. Hi, Corey. Good morning, Celeste. It's going to be a great day out there. We do. What she had to say knocked me right out of my socks. The sun was cruising through the autumnal equinox. <laughs> Take a listen, guys. This is Gary Strasberg. We hope we're saying that right. But he wrote this song. For this special day in GMAS. Why is April stop dancing? We got the camera on her. Look at look how excited she is. It is fall, y'all. On the eternal equinox. It's my favorite song. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no, Gary uh, Strasbow so or Strasbow, I'm not, I'm, I can't remember how to uh, recall his name, but he wrote this song for us so here awesome. on GMAS. Gosh, it's got to be eight or nine years ago, and we got to break it out every year because oh, yeah. Yeah. Phoenix rocks on the autumnal equinox, and I mean, it's, <laughs> it's a great song. Yeah, and I think everybody's excited that we survived yes. summer 16. Yes. We're it's done with summer. It's not just because I like saying good words like autumnal equinox, it's because we get cooler times. Temperatures around as here. As long as I don't have to read that one. <laughs> she, she really likes it too that it's shorter days, so the sun is down earlier. Mm -hmm. Sun's down, kids. Time to go to bed. Time to go night night. Yeah, exactly around. around here. So you know, usually in Arizona, it takes a while for things to cool off a little bit more around here. But this year, it's actually going to be really nice the next couple of days because we've got a cold front moving through our state today. Here it is, 5:31. Here's a look at temperatures this morning. All is quiet out there this morning. 78 degrees in temp. This also involved the mobile home, although it was on the property of a scrap yard at 51st Avenue in Buckeye. It started as a debris fire, but then it spread to the mobile home that's inside the yard. After the man living in that home, not clear if he was an on-site security guard or exactly why he lived there, but he grabbed a hose trying to put the flames out.